Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at four easy tests you can do at home to check if your clutch is either bad or going bad very soon. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the first way you can tell if your clutch is going out is the easiest. You put it into gear, you let the clutch out, and nothing happens. So we can come down here to the clutch, the clutch pedal here. Now, if you feel like your clutch is slipping and you have no free pedal, you see how easy this moves just a little bit? If you have none of this, that means your clutch is worn out or is going to fail, fail very shortly. So we have a little bit of play here, just like that. But if this was really rigid, really tough to push, um, then it's worn out. And also, if it's fully depressed and won't come back up, that also means your clutch is out. Now I'm in the driver's seat here, and another way you can tell your clutch is out is if you depress the clutch fully and try to push the gear but you can't quite find one because it just won't go in, then your clutch is bad. Okay, so let's say you're cruising on the freeway, like I'm simulating here, and you're in fourth gear or something, fifth gear, and you gas it to try to go around somebody, but the RPM, the RPM increases, but your speed does not increase. That also means your clutch is going out. So that was four easy tests on how to determine whether or not your clutch is either very close to going out or is gone completely and needs a replacement. Uh, all applicable links are down below in the description. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you next time.